since fitting the bridge I've um, put in um, an under saddle pickup from Headway, a Headway Snake 3 and I've cut down the saddle and uh, fitted that roughly in place um, so it's uh, pretty close to being the right height and I've also glued in the nut and uh, rechecked the um, frets for being flat um, they're just about flat nice and flat that side a tiny kink that side so I've adjusted the truss rod just to get that right and put in the protection so the next stage on this is to um, just get the, the frets perfectly in line perfectly level um, so to do that I'm going to take the um, blue marker and just mark up each of these threads across the top like that now here on this uh, straight edge uh, on the one side I've got adjusted the straight edge on the other side I've got 400 grit sandpaper um, and uh, the idea is just to gently all the high spots taken off just got down to the lowest spot which was on this fret here and this fret here and that's just taken that off so uh, next stage is to recrown the frets um, I've got this uh, fretting crowner here and uh, this is just a, a matter of going across each of these like this and uh, recut, the, recut the crown so that it's exactly in the middle of the, uh, of the thing. But to do this, what I should do to start with is to reline each of these tops because the way that I know that I've got the crown exactly right is once I cut this away, there'll be a tiniest, tiniest thin line left and that's what I'm aiming for and then I know that I've got exactly the right height that's remained but I've just got one edge on the crown. After filing them, the last thing to do is to uh, actually polish them. And um, I've got this little thing here, which is what draftsmen use or used to use back in the old days when you drew, drew on a board and not on a computer. And this was used for erasing the lines, and it's still very good for that. And that fits over there quite nicely, and you've got a protection surface around it. Um, I tend to use um, this abrasive. It's like an abrasive rubber and uh, this takes out the worst of the lines so going over this is my first step which I've already practiced on another couple of guitars and um, this takes out all of the file marks and it gets it ready for the final
Yeah. The frets are all nice and smooth now. And the final thing is some steel wool. Using the same shield to protect, I can now polish these up to a nice, really high sheen and high polish. Beautiful. This protects it so well, uh, even though I put the tape down as protection, and um, this gives it that extra level of protection. Um, when I did a trial on an old guitar, um, it was so easy to damage the fretboard that I think having something like this is really worth it. If you can find this in the store, I'd say give it a go. Beautiful.